When we talk about uh, humans communicating with aliens, first we have to kind of define what we might mean by aliens. We have just one kind of intelligence that we're familiar with, which is human intelligence. The question is, what, what does it even mean to talk about other intelligences? So what one needs in order to have something one can reasonably call an intelligence is something that is computationally as sophisticated as a brain, for example. It turns out, as a result of a bunch of basic science that I've done actually, that there's a thing called principle of computational equivalence, which strongly suggests that out in the universe, in nature, there are just tons of things that have the same computational sophistication as brains. Whether it's some pattern of fluid flow in the Earth's atmosphere, whether it's the magnetosphere of a pulsar, whether it's all kinds of other things. These are things which are computationally just as sophisticated as human brains. The issue is that they don't seem to us like intelligence because they're not aligned with kind of the, the human goals and purposes that we have as our one example of human intelligence. We have our first sort of tame, in a sense, example of alien intelligence which is AI. My name is Sophia, and I am an artificially intelligent robot who wants to help change the world for the better. So we might ask the question, can we communicate with AIs? Well, you know, when we build computational intelligence languages like Wolfram Language, we are specifically setting those up in order to provide a way for us to communicate with the AIs. So when we say, well, how can we communicate with that? Well, our best hope, I think, and maybe this is because I've spent a large part of my life as a language designer, is to create a language which is uh, a good way of representing human precise thinking and also a good way of representing the kind of, quotes thinking that uh, our alien intelligence, particularly the form that we have in, in artificial intelligence, uh, that that, that, um, that, that can, can, can show. Now, when it comes to uh, sort of communicating with uh, extraterrestrial intelligence. Um, as I say, the main issue is people say, well, you know, it's remarkable how rare extraterrestrial intelligence is. After all, we haven't seen a single example of it. I think that's ultimately going to turn out to be completely wrong. I think ultimately we're going to realize that there's, there's alien intelligence all around us. When we see those, those weird signals from some you know, pulsar magnetosphere, eventually we'll say, well, actually, that's an example of an intelligence. It's just not an intelligence that's well aligned with, with, uh, with what we're used to as, as humans. In fact, my, my guess is that what's going to happen is, as, as time goes on, AI will get more and more uh, well absorbed by, by us, and we will get more and more familiar with the notion that there's an intelligence that's alien to us. And eventually we'll realize, well, actually, there really was intelligence all around us in the universe. We just didn't recognize that. Um, and it's, you know, alien intelligence, much like AI, acts as alien intelligence.